Hello, and welcome to Zenata Consulting's Beginner Series. This is our series on Zoho Sign, and today we're going to talk a little bit about some core settings that oftentimes are overlooked in Zoho Sign. From Zenata Consulting, I'm Brett Martin. And I'm Tyler Colt. Let's get right into it, Tyler. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've talked about this a lot. There are a lot of settings in here that people just um, don't really pay attention to or know. Um, the first one we're going to focus on here is the account settings. Um, this is kind of important because this really allows you to set a lot of things are going to be default for all your delivery going forward. So the first thing we're going to talk about here is account settings. And under the account settings tab, we're going to focus on three things, sending options, the recipient experience, and then automatic cloud backup. So let's go ahead and start with sending options. Yeah, so a couple of things that you want to adjust um, because you're able to set them as a default here are going to be your days to complete and the reminder cadence. Um, so you can basically set up and say, hey, like any do document by default is going to need to be completed within 15 days. It is going to get automated reminders, and we're going to do those every five days. Um, you can also set the default. The thing should go out um, sent in order, which can be important because if you do have documents that need to be that way, you don't want to forget to check that box when we actually send them out. Um, you're also able to uh, require or enforce that people use a one-time password to authenticate. Um, that basically does one core thing. So when you, when you send these out, it's going to get sent out to someone's email address. And uh, what you may want to do is make sure that that person's actually signing and no one else has access to their email account. So you could say that they also need to receive a text with a password that would then allow them to sign that link that came in via email. Um, so oftentimes it's like if you're sending the link via SMS, you would have them authenticate with email. And if you're sending with email, you'd authenticate with SMS. Um, but just if you do need that extra layer of security, it's important to know. Uh, moving down the page, we can also determine what the default email address should be that things come from. So you're likely going to want to have that be an organization email or whoever the sender is. If not, it's just going to send from a Zoho sign email address. And then you also have the ability to insert document IDs. You can go ahead and add it to all pages. You can put it in the header. So if you don't want the document ID inserted in there, you can leave that off. And then that will not appear anywhere in the document. Um, Oftentimes that can kind of clutter the document. Sometimes people want it in, sometimes they don't, but uh, really not all that particularly important. You have it in there, but you can do it on all pages, first page, last page, and put it yeah, in the Yeah, it kind of sneaks footer. it. It sneaks it either, at either the very top or very bottom. The one reason that you may want it is if you ever pull that PDF from somewhere, having the record ID and sign just makes it easier to find the sign version of it where you could see when everyone signed it or viewed it and so forth. Yep, and then when you're done, you decide who gets it. Only the sender gets it, everybody gets it. Uh, you know, do you do it as an email attachment or do you just give them a link so they can download it in the email? Um, and then the certificate of completion, usually that only goes to the sender, but if you want that to go to everybody as well, and that's just the digital certificate that verifies that it was in fact digitally signed by both parties. And so good things to look at over here in the sending options. You also have the recipient experience. Um, and this is where you're going to tell them how they can interact with your various documents. So at the top, you've got signature input modes. Do you want them just to type in their name, draw their name, or upload a signature? Maybe you just want them to type it in. You don't want to mess with any of that, and that's going to be your only digital signature. You choose that, and that will be the only way they can sign the document going forward. And yeah, moving down the page, we can also allow or disallow them to do certain actions. So you could actually allow them to assign their signature to another party. You could let them skip certain fields and move forward. And then, of course, allow them to download and email the document out um, as they're working on it. Yep. And then you have little suggestions as they're moving along to kind of help them through the document. I always recommend you leave this on. This is just a little hint, you know, sign here, do this, do that. You haven't signed everything. Yeah. You forgot this, those it'll kind also, of things. Yeah. It'll also with that, it, if they, if they're going kind of front to back on the document, the signer hints will like skip them to the next field a lot easier. So they can kind of go like next previous back and forth and review things. So we advise just leaving that on, even if you don't, um, even if it's a pretty quick document, it's still just going to help people get around. 
Yep. And then, uh, of course, you're going to want to show the sign or attachments to it pretty much everybody. Uh, so who gets to see the attachments when it's done? Uh, and then the lastly, there's this redirect. If you want to, you know, if a person signs a document, you can have it go here. If they decline, you can have it go here. If they're signing later, you can have it go to another. So if you've got landing pages with certain messages you want them to go to, you can redirect them. Otherwise, they're not going to go anywhere. They're just going to sign it. They're going to stay in Zoho sign and they're going to look, get a little completion page. So this is kind of nice to put in if you want to redirect them upon the success or failure of their Zoho sign experience. And then I think the last one, Tyler, which is pretty cool, is this automatic cloud backup. So you will get a, either a link to go ahead and download the completed documents once it's done, or you'll get an email that will have the documents attached to them. But you also, for you know everything kind of internally in the company, there's a super nice feature in Zoho Sign, which now allows you to go ahead and enable this cloud backup. And so with this, you can choose whether or not you want that certificate of completion. And other than that, you're basically going to choose where you want to park these. So for example, maybe we want them to all go into work drive in a particular folder. It also supports Dropbox, Box, Google Drive, and OneDrive. So if you wanted to park those documents there, you can do that as well. Yep, and you can create the folder. It's it's very, very nice once you get that set up. So you choose choose your storage. You can also choose the format, how you want it to go in. Pretty simple on this. It can just be the file name and the date or the date and the file name or the file name all by itself with no date. So you don't really have a lot of a lot of choices there. And then you can do your date format, depending on what part of the world you're in, you can go ahead and set this up any way you want. And that's how it's gonna be go categorized in there. So kind of some quick little settings that you wouldn't wanna pay attention to on the account setting side. A couple other things we kind of wanted to point out to you here were something around email templates. These all can be totally customized as well. So you really might, you can change these any way you want. You have the little tags that can go in. Um, but if you go ahead and edit any template, uh, it's straightforward. You can even drop in complete HTML. You can edit the mm -hmm. HTML. You can do anything you want with these. You can make them look any way you like. The basic versions are okay, but I find a lot of people want to change them around. And a nice one that you can do just as a super quick option is up there at the top under colors. It allows you to just quickly choose the background color of your header and the button. So even if at just a baseline, you wanted to assign those to some brand specific colors, you can do that here without really much effort at all. Um, you know, of course, you can go crazy in here and embed HTML and, and everything that way. But as a quick way to just brand this to, you know, your colors, you can come in here and do that. And so then the last thing we wanted to cover under the settings is this subscriptions details. So if you're using a lot of automation inside of Zoho Sign, you will need API credits. And oftentimes we get called by clients and frustrated people saying, I've run out of credits and I don't know how to add them because they've gone here to the API tokens and they've gone to the API settings and that doesn't exist. But if you click on subscription details, this is going to take you to the place where you can buy your API credits. And if you're sending things by SMS, your SMS credits, and it will add them right in here. As we've discussed in the past, these cost 50 cents per credit. If you're buying a bulk, you might be able to get a discount if you're buying tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands. But uh, And of course, all you need to do is you can just click buy API credits, and that will allow you to choose the number of API credits you wish to purchase and um, go ahead and automatically bill your account. Just want to kind of throw that in here as kind of one of those hidden things that I think people ask us about a lot, Tyler. Yeah, and basically the way to think about it is any anytime that you're generating one of these documents automatically, either through a custom function, through API, or through a sign form, that's when these credits are going to be used. If you're just running your mail merge from the CRM or creating documents directly within here, it's not going to be consuming any credits. All right, so we hope you enjoyed our quick little beginner's guide on some of kind of the main settings that you'll want to uh, go ahead and get configured inside of Zoho Sign. Thanks so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching our videos and tuning into our channel. We hope you found this useful. And if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so that you get notified anytime we put out any new videos. Thanks again for watching.